So welcome to Manchester Airport Terminal 3. This is the smallest out of the three terminals at Manchester. Uh, it mainly deals with domestic flights and European ones where one and two will do more international flights. As you walk in you can see there's the main seating area. Very busy uh, this morning. You've got um, all the usual shops that uh, we have at most British airports. You've got WH Smith just there straight ahead. And as you walked in, there was a um, Curry's, I think it's still called Curry's, uh, sell electronics and stuff. And then here you've got Boots, uh, which is a pharmacist, and you can get all of them. You can get some food as well, sandwiches and things like that. WH Smith, I think everyone knows, it's more of a stationery, books, magazines. You can always get sandwiches and food. You kind of have to zigzag your way around um, the seating area to see if you can find somewhere to sit. Um, a lot of people obviously will take up the second seat by putting their bag or coat on there. And then you have a Costa coffee as well. Uh, and just to your left here, I think that's part of um, the... Uh, yeah, part of uh, WH Smith, so you can uh, pay for your uh, items there as well. So this, as I said, the main seating area. And then if you continue walking up uh, on your right hand side there, you can see there is uh, an exchange. If you just go into WH Smith, uh, you can see water, snacks, food, so on. Um, overpriced as always uh, at airports. And there you can see the steps. Uh, this is an exchange, uh, money exchange. Always get your money exchanged beforehand. Uh, they really do um, overcharge you here. So as you go up the, the stairs, uh, this leads to uh, where there's uh, restaurants and I think there are some bars as well. So there you've got like an Italian uh, pizza place. Uh, straight ahead is just like a normal uh, restaurant. I think they've got uh, burgers and uh, pizzas as well. Um, just a place to have something to eat and then on your right hand side you have the duty free so you got your drinks, perfumes, cigarettes, all the usual. Again check the prices, uh, I tend to find uh, duty free is more expensive than most shops uh, that you can uh, buy your drinks from but you cannot take them in so I guess this is where they scam you is this is where you can buy it and then take it onto the aeroplane otherwise you cannot take uh, more than 100 millilitres onto the plane. And then just there straight ahead is uh, which uh, leads to the gates. So you've got your left, um, they will go to, I think, up to gate uh, 56, I believe it was. And then on to your right, it's 44 to 50. Another small W at Smith. And that's basically it. Uh, that's all the gates. And then if you continue around here, there's some more small restaurants. And... Uh, places to get some food. This is a bar. Yes, I did think there was a bar. Uh, just a screen there to check your flight. There's not that many screens uh, dotted around actually. So the bars are on this side of the terminal. But if you wanted somewhere which is a bit more quiet, so as you walk in uh, where the main seating area is, if you go up these stairs, it brings you up to the upper level which you can tell is incredibly quiet and there's actually not that many uh, people here. You can see it overlooks, this is where the, uh, that main uh, restaurant was. And you can tell it's very quiet, there's loads of seating space here. I don't think a lot of people realise that this space exists. You've got your uh, board there for flight so it's uh, really convenient to get away from all the hustle and bustle. There's a little place there that they sell coffee and some snacks. 
but you can always buy your things from downstairs and bring them up here. There's no one here to stop you to, uh, to do that. And then if you continue on, there's some more seating uh, area here and it overlooks the runway. So it's a great place to take some pictures of the planes taking off and landing. Again, very quiet. Compared to uh, the hustle and bustle downstairs, you can tell it's much quieter. And just across there, you have the escape lounge. And Terminal 3 only has one lounge now. Uh, the other one has closed. So it's the escape lounge, which is up here on the, uh, the upper floor. And so you go up those stairs, and um, you can see where those guys are heading. That's to head towards the uh, escape lounge. I have done a video for the uh, escape lounge, which I will leave in the description. And there is the entrance to the escape lounge. And then here's the stairs to go back down. Thank you for watching.